Hi friend. Welcome to the Blue Jays Times. In this video, we are going to talk about the new latest breaking MLB Toronto Blue Jays news and rumors today. Domingo German going to Canada? So before we dive deep, please please hit the like button and also subscribe right now if you love the Blue Jays like we do. That being said, the New York Post Mark W. Sanchez reports that six teams, including the Orioles and Blue Jays, have expressed interest in acquiring free agent pitcher Domingo German. The Mets have also inquired about German, but Sanchez suggests that the likelihood of the right-hander joining the team in Queens is uncertain. German, who has played his entire MLB career with the Yankees since being acquired in a 2014 trade with the Marlins, has shown promise as a mid-rotation arm in the Bronx. However, his tenure has been overshadowed by off-field issues. Following a stint as a depth arm in 2017-18, he had a standout season in 2019, logging a career-high 143 innings across 27 appearances, 24 starts. During that productive season, German maintained a 4.03 ERA with an impressive near 26% strikeout rate. In September of that year, MLB placed Domingo German on administrative leave following reports of an assault on his girlfriend at a charity event. The league completed its investigation during the subsequent offseason, resulting in an 81-game suspension for German for the 2020 season. However, due to the pandemic, the 2020 season was shortened to 60 games, prompting MLB to reinstate him after he had missed the entire schedule. German made his return to the Yankees in 2021 but faced challenges as he dealt with shoulder issues during parts of the next two seasons. Despite his struggles, he accumulated a 4.17 ERA over 170 and two-thirds innings. He initially held a spot in the New York rotation at the beginning of the last year, but his performance was mediocre. In mid-May, he received a 10-game suspension after failing a foreign substance inspection. Carrying a 5.10 ERA through his initial 14 appearances, Domingo German entered a late June start in Oakland. The Coliseum witnessed German's remarkable performance that night, as he threw MLB's 24th perfect game, the first since Felix Hernandez's achievement in 2012. However, German's subsequent outings in July saw him post a 4.61 ERA over five starts. On August 2, the Yankees made the announcement that they were placing German on the restricted list to facilitate his entry into an inpatient treatment facility for alcohol abuse. A report by Lindsay Adler of the Wall Street Journal revealed that German, seemingly under the influence, had engaged in heated arguments with teammates and coaches in the New York clubhouse, even flipping a couch during these confrontations. This marked the end of German's association with the Yankees, spending the remainder of the season on the restricted list. As the year concluded, New York placed him on outright waivers. With no claims made, German opted for free agency. According to Sanchez, Domingo German has successfully fulfilled the requirements of his inpatient treatment and is aiming for a comeback to the majors in 2024. Sanchez notes that his representatives have received two formal contract offers, though it remains unclear if those offers originated specifically from Baltimore and Toronto. If German secures a major league deal, it is anticipated to be a cost-effective one-year agreement. Between the two AL East teams expressing interest, Baltimore stands out as having a greater necessity for bolstering their rotation. Besides right-handed depth from Jonathan Heasley, the Orioles have yet to make any additions to their starting pitching roster this offseason. The projected starting rotation includes Grayson Rodriguez, Kyle Bradish, John Means, and presumably Dean Kramer in the top four spots. Cole Irvin and Tyler Wells, both of whom had bullpen roles at points last season, are presently the leading contenders for the number five spot. This presents a significant challenge as the starting staff is the weakest link in an otherwise formidable roster, following a stellar 101-win season. While it's improbable that Baltimore will conclude the offseason without making any moves, they have been cautious in parting with assets from their highly regarded farm system to acquire starting pitching via trade. Despite expectations that they might participate in the mid-range free agent rotation market, the organization has not displayed a willingness to spend at that level thus far in the offseason. The Orioles made a significant move by signing Craig Kimbrell to a $13 million guarantee, securing him as the closer following Felix Bautista's Tommy John surgery. However, apart from this acquisition, they have refrained from participating in MLB free agency during the winter. Roster Resource estimates their 2024 spending to be around $81 million, which, while exceeding last year's opening day figure of approximately $61 million. 
still places them in the bottom five in terms of estimated payroll in the league. On the other hand, Bring the Vegas gaming experience to the palm of your hand. Bet your favorite team, try your luck in the casino, or our poker room. The earliest sports lines and the biggest limits online. Lots of deposit options. Bet on live events as they happen. The next play, the next score. Get winnings fast or roll them into a parlay and win even more. Visit Bet Online today and see what millions of customers have experienced for over 20 years. Hand. The Blue Jays initially targeted the top echelon of the free agent market, but they have shifted focus to the middle tiers in recent weeks. This includes their recent addition to the rotation, Cuban right-hander Yariel Rodriguez, whom they signed to a four-year, $32 million deal. Rodriguez is expected to compete for the final rotation spot with Alec Manoa, who is looking to rebound from a challenging 2023 season. With Kevin Gaussman, Chris Bassett, Jose Barrios, and UCI Kikuchi occupying the top four positions, it appears unlikely that German would find a spot in the season-opening rotation. If Rodriguez doesn't eliminate the need for German altogether, the Blue Jays might consider him as a viable long-relief option. What are your thoughts on the recent moves by the Orioles and Blue Jays in the MLB offseason? The Orioles secured Craig Kimbrell following Felix Bautista's injury but have largely stayed out of free agency, while the Blue Jays, after exploring top-tier options, signed Yariel Rodriguez and are considering him for their rotation. Do you believe these moves align with the team's needs, and how do you see their strategies shaping up for the upcoming season? Additionally, what's your take on the potential addition of Domingo German to either team? Now let's see this bizarre moment. International setback. Blue Jays' top prospect deal collapses over birthday controversy. Say what? The Blue Jays' anticipated signing of Kenu Blanco, ranked as the number 9 international free agent for the 2024 class by MLB Pipeline, has fallen through due to birthday falsification, as reported by Marcos Grunfeld. This revelation follows an MLB investigation into identity alteration, resulting in more than 50 international free agents being reintroduced to the market. While many of these affected players are prospects for future classes, Blanco is not the sole high-profile name in this year's class to face repercussions. Raymel Ortiz's deal with the Mets also unraveled due to age falsification. The uncertainty surrounding Blanco's absence from the Blue Jays' 2024 class had been apparent for a few weeks, but the reasons were unclear until now. Grunfeld discloses that Blanco is a year older than his officially listed birth date, making him 17 years old instead of 16. Given the significance of age-related projections and player development, this revelation has become a point of concern for teams. Despite the setback, the Blue Jays are still expected to negotiate a deal with Blanco in the next year's class, albeit at a substantial discount. Blanco, recognized for his refined offensive skills, potential for increased power, and solid defense at shortstop, will have to put his professional aspirations on hold until 2025. While this information is newly disclosed to the public, it is likely that the Blue Jays were already aware of the situation for several months. This forced them to redistribute their budget and sign a more extensive class than initially planned. Franklin Rojas, a catcher from Venezuela, secured the top signing bonus in the revised signings. This development is disappointing for both the team and the international free agent system at large. Criticized before for issues of this nature, it may contribute to the ongoing discussions about transitioning the system to a standardized draft. Thank you.